Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, lots of excitement abounds. We've got new colonists, we've got our cult up and running, just all kinds of good things going on. So, new guy here. Actually, we have two new guys that I haven't really sorted out completely. So, um, Temp is non-violent, which is obnoxious. Um, wait, is it Temp that you're non-violent? Am I thinking of the wrong person? No, not you. It's Core that's non-violent. So, um... That does make some things a little difficult. The biggest problem is, is I have a lot of overlapping traits and a lot of stuff that doesn't overlap well. So here's what I'm kind of thinking of doing, is I would like to get Core cranked up on plants. It is only single fire versus um, Mooney's double fire. However, I think it'll level up a little faster. Um, Mooney can do other more useful things like craft, for example. Um, well, your crafting is only at a four, but... I don't know, I'm kind of running out of ideas. Um, I did go ahead and I uh, made another zone, if I can show you this here. This zone is called No Grow, and it's dumb. This is just for bison, because I want bison to not tend the regular plants. I only want him to deal with the ones that nobody else can grow, because I need to get other people up to eight. So, uh, I don't know, you suck at mining. Growing's honestly about the only thing you're good at, handling and growing. Things that you're actually good at. So... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've got some tailoring stuff set up. I did decide that it would be cool to make some culture, uh, some cultist vestments. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make um the tentacled ones because those just sound awesome. So we're gonna make a set of that. The insulation is actually pretty good. I didn't look at the armor. Fourteen or seven and fourteen versus ten and five. Well, that's interesting. Um. So it's not very good armor-wise, but, well, whatever. Um, speaking of armor, I'm seriously considering switching away from guns and going back and doing flak armor because I forgot. Um, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to make helmets. So check this out. So this is a good example of how um, this one mod works that hopefully I put the name at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to have this set to X per colonist, and I want this to have one per colonist. I want these to count equipped ones, but not tainted. Look everywhere. I only want that to count over 50%. Only that have the allowed ingredients, and you can just go ahead and stop whenever. And we can also have it counted for people that are away. So at the moment, we need seven or six more helmets. So someone is going to come make those. Um, actually, who's going to come make those? Gwen would be a good option. Yeah, let's level up, let's level up Gwen. N no... Well, yeah, fine. Okay, whatever. Um, I also have some EMP grenades set up because we need those desperately, and it doesn't matter who makes those. So I'll keep an eye on this. I guess I guess we'll just make it up as we go along. Um, I do need a minimum of one more bed because I need a medical bed that I can restrict people to, so we'll go ahead and just get a random one made. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. And I don't think I've come out to talk to you yet, have I? Torvo, why don't you come chat with these people? I don't know where you are. You're over there. That's fine. Okay, so anything good here? Well, I was really only looking for things that I could sell, and there's nothing here that I can sell. So, alas, we'll have to catch you later. Um, unhappy nudity should be fixed fairly soon. Actually, Connie, if you wouldn't mind, you've had some food and some rust and stuff. Why don't you come go ahead and make a lizard skin cult cultist vestment? So, I did say I was going to try not to blob the space, and I am going to. The problem is, I went and planted stuff down here where I need to put the next block. So, I'm going to kind of try to shift things gently out of the way. Um... I'm going to use some of this mountain, but not much of it. I mean, I'm going to use it as a back wall. But beyond that, I don't think I'm going to really use it. Um, probably... Well, maybe I'll use this as the kitchen area. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to push the base down if I want to put another block of room. So, alas, there we are. Good, haul some stuff. Major break risk, blah, blah, blah. Mooney and Gwen, you'll be fine. Actually, wait, why are you sad? No real reason for you to be sad. Just ate without table. Drowsy, unsightly environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Temp's gonna like this, that's for sure. Actually, maybe I should have Torvo wear it. Come on, hurry up, Connie. You can do this. I should build a workbench. I've actually got the stuff for it. In fact, can I just do that? I can't remember. Is that something I have to research or not? Oh, no. I can make the cool tool cabinet right away. 200 steel. Um... That's worth it. That's definitely worth it. 
And then as soon as this is done, then I'll release Connie and she can go do whatever. And I will have Temp come and wear it. For no reason whatsoever other than it sounds awesome. Thank you, Connie. Oh, that looks cool. Actually, Temp, come wear it right now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that got flagged as cloth. That's interesting. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool looking? Oh, got some more Magicite. Good. You can go back to bed, man. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to make you get up and go work. But here we are. Well, I appreciate it. Well, while we're doing that, I'm not going to tunnel back here any further. So let's go ahead and let's just smooth this wall out. Um, smooth surface. This will help me remember too not to tunnel back any further. So at least do at least do that much. I think they can reach that. Because right there is where it goes underneath mountain. So just do that whenever. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll get to it. Fine. Trait change. Has lost the trait wimp. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Oh, cool. Well done. Sorry, I kind of feel like I'm choking. So, I made the mistake of doing a little bit of cleaning earlier. Um, and even though I'd already taken some Claritin today and I'd had some Benadryl, like... I can still barely breathe and it really sucks, so... <laughs> ah. Okay, so actually, let, let's let's change these clothes around. Um, Tap, I'm gonna have you drop this. I know you don't like that, and Torvo, I'm gonna have you come wear it. Oh, that doesn't... Oh, that goes over the top. Uh, okay, I gotcha. So we need another one. Actually, we're making a duster. Yeah, that's fine. Well, in that case, go ahead and drop it. Um, And you can have the next one. Thanks, though. And I'm assuming that Temp will come wear it. Temp is digging, but that's okay. You can come wear this instead. I want everyone to have tentacled stuff on because that's super cool. And now I desperately want it. Alright, so my constructor should do this. Okay, so you can work diagonally. Alright. The good thing there is that you can run power lines through smooth walls um, and they don't mine it out. Otherwise, they do that and it leads to some real excitement. What was I saying I was going to switch research to? Oh, flak armor. Yeah, and I'm going to do that. Or actually, how crazy are you right now? Sane are you right now? Oh, you're totally sane. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and let's flip over and let's um let's learn to upgrade our altar. Oh, and speaking of that, I'm going to unlock this door because I want the agency to be able to come discover that we're a cult and then fight with us because it sounds awesome. <laughs> it's not like I need more enemies. I already got enemies, but I, I need them as an enemy specifically because they're supposed to be my enemy. So, you know, they're the agency. So... Yeah, that's just something that you're going to have to do. Is they're going to have to show up and discover my cult. Oh, a heat wave. Um, crap. Okay. Um, crap. Okay. Kor, for some damn reason, you're wearing a parka. Um, let me actually fix this outfit. So the outfit... Oh God, I can't, I can't remember this. Okay, here we go. So anything... Does not include parkas. No parka. That's why you're hot. So, um... I don't know if we're gonna need another couple coolers or not. Should I make some cowboy hats? They're really good for temperature, but they're dumb looking when I'm going for this kind of a theme. Let's see... Let's see if I can get away without it. Does your cool hat provide any temperature benefit? Yes. A lot. 23? Are they all like that? Um, are these just hoods? Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. This is machining table. Let's use this one. How about this? Yeah. So we've got Shubnigaroth. Yup. Ooh. And it's only 25 ingredients. And it provides some heat. That's 16. Now, the cultist hood, what was its default? Oh, it was also 16. Well. Well then. And this was made out of... Let me just make sure it's all the right things. Oh, that was made out of panther fur. That's why it's so good. Still. You know what? Lizard skin, maybe? Yeah, we got a lot of that. Why don't you make a hat out of lizard skin, too? That'll be cool. 
Maybe we can start distributing those. Alright, so let's keep track of our temperature. Looks like the overlay, overlay is working reasonably reliably. Okay, duster's down. Um, hide in room. Okay, that's fine. Who insulted you? I don't... I don't know. Huh. Well, whatever. It's all good. Alright, so we've got one duster up. Good. And the mask is made. Okay. So it's... Oh, no, 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 no. We want to complete this cool set on... Oh, actually, never mind. Look at that thing. <gasps> oh, I want more of them. And what did the stats end up turning out on that once quality and everything has been figured out? Oh, 10. Well, 10 kind of sucks. It's because I don't have, like, any furs or anything is what I need. Hmm. Well, okay. Do we have any good wildlife on the map? Nothing that will yield, like, heavy fur or anything. Well... Hmm. Alright. Never mind. This does mean my bees aren't going to do anything. Yeah, it's not too hot. A corpse obsession. Well, la-di-da. Fine, go dig up a corpse. Where are you going? You decided to leave it down. Okay. Okay, I don't understand that. Are you jealous? No. I just need to make these rooms nicer. <laughs> well, I should have more sandstone than I currently do. Let's keep putting in some of that hex flooring, and we'll just make it out of sandstone, just because it's okay looking, and we already have some of it. And then indoors here for the bedrooms. See, I don't want to keep the bedrooms there is the problem. But at least your bed is actually over here, so it'll look better once I've got some flooring in. And I'm going to set this to medical so I don't forget about it. Well, all right, keep doing that. I need someone to chop up some granite, is what I need. So that I can extend this out a little further. I don't really want to cover up arable land. I could, but I don't want to. I don't know. Maybe. Well, how big would it have to be to put in another bunkhouse if I want to keep doing this 4x9 this design? It needs to be 11 by 9 So if I want to put one over here... Well, it would fit, but I don't I don't want that there. No, let's just wait just a little bit, and then I'll expand down here a little further. Um, in the meantime, we can go ahead and we can just move these out of the way. These can be over here. There we go. Temperature-wise, okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I wish you guys weren't eating in that bedroom, but whatever. Sermon time. Uh, you guys aren't going to make it, but you can see this just murders, like, work efficiency. Alright. But, we do need to get up in favor. What are we at right now? We're at glanced. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Wow, it's 107 in here. Well, uh, let's build a cooler in there too, I suppose. Gwen, if you wouldn't actually mind doing that, I think that would be the best thing to work on at the moment. Not that people spend a ton of time in there. But, even so. Well, the... Bison, why are you not researching? Oh, because you're doing heal right. Okay. That's fine. Sweltering hot. Yeah. I mean, they will go seek out safe temperatures if anything gets too bad. Oh, it's only refrigerated in here now. We are going to need a third cooler. Man, alright. At least these are not that difficult to move. How are the bedrooms staying? Not good. That's going to need another cooler, too. Well, that's okay. We can always move them around. A little later, once we've, you know, um, developed a larger base and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty hot, especially back in that medical bedroom where it's 103. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Tom. Go sleep in your own bed. It's hot. Consume a simple meal. And then go rest. Um, Torvo, what are you up to, buddy? You're taking a simple meal. After that, can you just come build this cooler quick? So that people don't, like, cook in their bedrooms? It's pretty hot in there. Yeah, and then I need that one done. 
Okay, great, thank you. Gwen, would you mind actually building this cooler? Because it's all out to 45 in there, and that's not so great. I could double wall part of this. But I don't know if that'll be necessary. Like double walling the outside or something like that. Because I do plan on moving it. But here we are, not moving it. Okay, now that I don't have any mining flagged, will you guys, any of you guys fall through to crafting? Mmm, sort of. I mean, I guess core can as well. I just want someone to start cutting up blocks. So that I can start, like, rebuilding everything. Well, that's right, I built a bone sleeping box, but then I built them some nice cozy beds. But I think that was the right decision. Oh my god, I need more of these masks. Oh, that's super cool. You know what we should do is we should make one for each god. And yes, by the way, you're right, worshipping Haster would be hilarious given the history of my colony. That would be hilarious. Um, Bast. Yeah. Does it only show you... Does it only show you the ones, like, are there more, or... I wonder if it only shows you the ones that you've, um, discovered. Or the, um, yeah, the old gods that you've discovered. Maybe. Oh, this has to be made out of cloth. Okay. That's fine. Do it whenever. I do need those EMP grenades done. Oh, jeez, they're a lot of work. Okay. Well, let's keep an eye on Gwen and make sure that that's what she's working on. Ambrosia, fine, whatever. I don't care about Ambrosia. Okay. So hopefully someone wears the cat mask. Actually... Let's flip through and let's see who's got the worst heat gear. Ooh, it's bison by quite a bit. But someone already came and took it. So, <laughs> who's got the cat mask? Core. Oh, that's cool looking. Paranoia. Gwen has become disoriented. Okay. Disoriented senses, but only in one eye. Okay. That's a little strange, but all right. How's our freezer? Our freezer's still reasonably frozen. And the other bedrooms? Doing okay. Bison, how crazy you feeling right now? Meh. You'll be okay. We need, like, some leathers and stuff. Do we have anything on the map anymore? We got a bunch more gazelles. Should we go on another big, like, gazelle slaughter spree? The problem is they use... They uh, yield, what, plain leather? I think. Yeah, plain leather, which is pretty crap. Um... Yeah, we're just not getting a lot of good wildlife as part of our problem. Ostriches, elephants... Well, plain leather stuff would be better than nothing. And I see I've got several idle people. So you know what? Come murder. Let's make sure you're all on hunting on a low level. And then just come slaughter. It'll be better than being bored. There. Kill. Destroy. And I think everyone's got an actual gun now. They're all like either old-fashioned guns or bolt-action rifles. But that's okay. They're, those are actually fairly solid weapons. Alright, so now we've got... Now we can go ahead and we can upgrade our altar. Ta-da! And... I don't believe we have any spells available to us yet. Yeah, no we don't. But we're getting there. Okay, cool. So let's go back then and research. And now let's work on flak armor for a little bit so that our people don't get killed. And then a little later we'll switch over to other stuff. Okay, good. So someone is chopping this up. Thank you. Much appreciated. Two colonists idle, Torvo and Kor. Aren't you guys set to hunt? Yeah. Did you guys kill all those? Oh, the gazelles left the map. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of the heat wave. Okay, well then. I guess... I guess, come keep mining? I suppose you can never have too much steel. That's what I always say. It's really funny, I haven't had to mine components yet, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. Um, just come get some of that, too. A psychic ship. Okay, that's bad. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, okay. How are we gonna deal with the psychic ship? It's a good thing I built those EMP grenades, right? Who gets those? Cora, will you even use EMP grenades? No. Of course you won't. Who is... my least... Well, not my least. Who's my most disposable colonist at the moment? Which does not mean you're disposable. Just not as important right now. Um, 
I think it might be Mooney, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're going to have to rock the MP grenades. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. That does not mean that you're not useful. It just means that, at the moment, I feel like I could spare you the most if something bad were to happen. Okay. Um, and we don't have chem fuel, so I only have 10, sh uh, 10 shells, which is not a lot. Um, we could try opening it. We could just have someone come shoot it. It's 131 outside. Oh my god. Yeah, but we can't leave that there. We can't. It can't be done. All right, animals, let's move you all into your safety zone. And then let's restrict everybody else to the base. Probably gonna have to set some of this. Yep, that's fine. And who does not have damage to their legs or brain or whatever? Um, and who can go outside for a bit? 118. Yeah, and you're my nonviolent person, so... <sighs> Torvo, I guess, I'm gonna have you come open up the ship. And then run like the wind. Shut that door behind you, I think it's too late now. I wanna pop it open just with a gun. Alright, ready? Wait, hold on. Here we go. Okay, that's not too bad. One centipede and three scythers. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay. Well, in that case, let's have... Temp? You're meditating. Bad news. You get to come man a steel mortar, and we're going to target this ship. It's going to be hard to kite without a sniper rifle. But we can make kind of a half-assed attempt at it. Actually, they have to cross the river. So, we actually have an advantage there. So you can take some shots and then run away. Okay, well, you missed. That's okay. You tried. Oh, nice hit. Good, good. Yeah, if you actually hit them, that pisses them off kind of a lot. I don't think we can kite them all the way back. So you're going to come through there. Actually, these two doors should be shut. Yeah... Yeah, that should be shot. Core, if you don't mind, come go ahead and close this door, please. Okay, keep running. Whoa, God. It's pretty close. Well, okay. I'd hope that you would hit that. I'm not... Whoa, keep going, man. Oh, that was pretty close. Okay. Um, Torf, I'm gonna let you go eat quick. That was close. All right, use up our nine shells. Just hit it a couple times. Oh no, our beehive was, oh, the one that we had stored that I hadn't used. Oops. Well, oh well. Major break risk, yeah, I know. It's hot and you guys are bored. Did you hit that ship? I didn't even see. Yeah, you did, good job. But you're gonna lose interest. Actually, how about this? Actually, Cora, sorry about that. Um, Let's build a copy here. I think that I can have, let's say, Torvo come and do it. Outside a loud area. I'm gonna put you to unrestricted at the moment. Come make this trap, because that'll kill a couple of scythers. Oh, you missed. Shoot, that was looking pretty good. And I may have bison come take over. No one's in a very good mood, because they're so hot. Cutting stone blocks from chunk. Okay, time. you can go ahead and go somewhere else. And we're gonna have Connie, whose mood is bad. But I'm going to have you take over this and set the force target on the ship. And I am going to have someone come out and shoot here in just a minute. Hey, nice hit. You hit them, too. Well done. Didn't do a ton of damage, but you definitely got some damage in on them. Just one more. Just, well, literally one more hit. Out of our three shells. And then I have to go hunting. And that will suck. No, come on. Come on, Connie. This is it. It's the last one. And you hit it, but you didn't hit them. Well, damn. Oh, we've got one more in here. And now that's it. Well, okay. Isn't this going to be exciting? Should we switch to biofuels? I guess we might as well. Okay. 
Well, I guess we'll wait until morning, and then we're gonna go hunting with somebody. And let's put you back in the base where you should be. I don't know who that's gonna be. It could be Bison. Yeah, Bison, why don't you go get some food? And then come hunt. We can't leave that ship out there, it's gonna drive everyone crazy. Okay, come here. Someone else can research for a bit. Although I don't have anybody set to do that, but they could, in theory. How close do I need you to get? Centipedes are easy to hit, but you're not going to do a whole lot of damage to them. Mm, come on. Keep hitting something. Okay, run away. Ah, oh, these guys are going to be such a pain in the ass to kite. Actually, you know what I could do? Do I have two people that are in an okay mood? You kind of are. Come here. Let's train them and then duck up behind here and shoot at it with somebody else. That's my new plan. It's not a great plan, but it's a plan. Well, this one's coming all the way inside. Oh, and now it's not. Uh-oh. Uh, whoops. May have screwed that up. May have screwed that up. We're about to find out. Okay, temp kite this direction. Oh, I should be using core. Come on. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, temp, come this way. They keep, like, changing their mind whether or not they want to come chase us. Okay, you're in an okay mood. You're in a great mood, strangely. Yeah, they're not going to come all the way around. Let's just speed this up. Okay, let's get down here. Okay. Shoot at the ship. Because if you get it down low enough, everything will come running for us. Which is kind of what I want. It's not really what I want, but it's kind of what I want. And yeah, I see them moving. I do miss the display from the tax. The tax caused me a lot of trouble over time, but it was useful in its own way. Okay, so Bison, we're actually not going to need you. So you can go ahead and you can be unrestricted for the moment. Okay, here comes the next Scyther. It should die to the traps. Okay, you're at 50%. So, now they're going to come after us no matter what. Good job. Actually, you're down here. Maybe I should just have you destroy the ship. Because you can't make it back in time to be of any help. Yep. Oh, and this thing made it inside. Whoa. Even core, you get to come help. Alright, temp, just go ahead and destroy the ship. Since you're here. Actually, get a little closer and then destroy the ship. Come on, guys. Oh, you have the EMP grenades equipped. Did you did you use that on purpose, Mooney? Oh my god, I think she switched on purpose. Oh wow. I am impressed. That's super cool. I did not know you could do that. Okay, yeah, keep working on that ship. You'll have that down momentarily here. Now we need to make sure that Gwen can um use those EMP grenades. Or, I'm sorry, not Gwen. Mooney can use those EMP grenades. What's the range on them? The range sucks, and I did not build a Cassie Memorial um, EMP safety area yet. Because I did not realize I was going to be getting um, mechanoid ships this early. I guess this isn't very early, is it? Okay, start throwing. Oh god, I may have waited too long. These things take a lot of killing. Actually, here, switch off every couple shots here. Okay, and I'll throw a grenade. Looks like you're doing that automatically. And go ahead and switch back. I don't know how long we can keep it stunned, so we're gonna try- Uh-oh, not long. And these guns are mean, but they're not, you know, infinitely mean. Okay, come on. You guys are doing awesome. Yep, and we're gonna get no more stuns. Alright, kill as hard as you can. Keep it up. 
It's almost down. Come on. Okay, headshot's not good. Keep going. Okay. Okay, so what kind of injuries did we get? Um, Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, good. And how's this thing doing? 1.4%. One more hit. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. It's too bad that Connie got hit. Do I, I don't, because I don't have any other doctors, any other useful doctors, right? Yeah, no. So go tend to yourself first, yeah. All right, and temp, I'm going to go ahead and unrelease you, or unrestrict you, thank you. Okay, go back to normal, everybody. That could have gone worse. That could have gone a lot worse. But it didn't, so here we are. Why don't you go ahead and haul back the advanced components, because those are super expensive. And then where's the other Scyther Corpse? Up here. Okay. Colonies treatment. Yeah. Yeah, they do. We're working on it. Can I promote someone else to a temporary doctor? Temp, I guess. But temp is a long ways away. Huh. Well... I don't know, man. No, we really just need Connie. You're actually not doing that bad. You're definitely doing bad. Okay, why don't you come tend right away to Gwen, even though I see you're not done, and I realize this is going to waste some medicine. But get that done anyway. And oh yeah, let's get these doors held open. Thank you. And that one too. Well, those charge blaster shots, man, I tell ya. Okay. And now you're gonna probably tend to yourself again? Yeah, that's fine. And bison's been tended, even though the tending sucks. And it has cooled off in there. It's only 88. What's your temperature range? Eight, okay, your temperature range is 82. So that's actually not as good as I might want. Um, we can put a vent in here. It's not gonna help a whole lot. We just need the heat wave to end. <laughs> okay, well that was easy. I should have said that earlier. Alright. Well, no. No problem at all. Now we just need everyone to rest up. And... Should I switch researchers? Bison, how badly hurt are you? Actually pretty badly hurt. I think I'm going to switch researchers for a bit. I think I'm going to have... Oh, nobody's very good at it that's still in good shape. We'll have, we'll have core work on things for a bit. That'll give Core something to do. If Core had a single fire and intelligence, Core would be a valuable member of the team. Since Core does not have a single fire and intelligence, Core is not necessarily a valued member of the team. This should be up at the top. Oh, look at that. You can just drag him. <gasps> That's so great. Do forever. And I actually just want you to drop him on the floor, please. And is there anyone around who looks bored? Temp is not in a good mood. Connie, how are you doing? You're in a bad mood. Jeez. Core's the only one in a good mood. Well, and temp, but... Meditating. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's right, there's no power down here. Ha ha ha. Oh, you've probably been yelling at the screen for the last five minutes. Because I didn't notice. Sorry about that. A mad hare, huh? Well, okay. Bad news, little buddy. Things are not going to go well for you. You know it'd be great if it came around the corner and then like seven or eight lasers roasted it. Wouldn't that be awesome? I think that would be awesome. Unfortunately, that's not quite the way it works at the moment. Um, the way it works is I forgot to uh, actually get some people out here. Step out of the way. Oh, never mind. Well done. Stupid rabbit. Okay, and on that slightly bizarre note, let's actually go ahead and let's take a break. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.